Hi, I'm Kristen from Upcycle My Stuff. I have just received a really exciting package. Hang on. This, um, it's a, a whole bunch of um, old jeans and denim someone was selling on eBay. This is the kind of stuff I um, sit up and scroll late at night. It's a bit sad. Um, but I thought uh, just in case there's any more um, upcycling denim nerds out there, you might appreciate this eBay denim haul. So <laughs> let's get into it. So I did open the box before because I didn't know what was inside it. Um, but once I saw that this is what it was, I thought I'll just turn the camera on and show you as I pull the stuff out. So what the woman said uh, on her listing was it was like old jeans, some denim projects she like hadn't finished. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what's going to be in here. I could see obviously some of it in the pictures, but it was like a big pile of stuff. And it was um, £7.50 for the whole thing. And I think the postage was three or four pounds. So really, really cheap. So I want to get the box a little higher so you can see it, but struggling to get a good angle. There we go. Okay. So let's see. First things first. Uh, this, which looks like, <coughs> excuse me, looks like the leg of a jean and she's sewn a seam, but it's raw on the edge. She's not finished it. So I have to find something to do with that. Um, looks like there's a few more like that it's with some stitching so this is like the cuff this one she's lined so it's quite pretty but she's just not finished it I'm thinking just looking at it maybe fold it over and put some sort of a clasp or something and make it a little uh, clutch or something maybe that's what she was thinking um, another one very similar uh, not lined and again might do something similar with that and this one let's see not lined but it's got she's done some sort of fancy stitching from her machine and again i think like it's got a little mark on this side but fold it over put a little clasp that could make a nice little bag maybe i'll maybe i'll finish it off for her um let's see what else is in here ah some more pant legs um, so they've already cut off so the top was obviously used for something else um, but that's a lot of good fabric and it's nice and soft so I could definitely do something with that either a bag or a quilt which is my usual two things <laughs> you can make more things but uh, those are the things my brain goes to let's see what's here this looks like a whole pair of jeans yeah whole great big pair of jeans it's rather thick I think these are probably men's jeans um, oh, they've got a little bit of paint a little bit of paint stain on the leg oh, can't get the light quite right can you see that yeah um, but they've got cool like I like when the color kind of changes because then if you use it in different parts of something it, it looks different um, and I'm pretty sure these are too, they, I mean, they look wearable other than that little stain, but they're way too small for my husband. So <laughs> I won't try and pass them on to him. I'll definitely cut them up and do something with them. Uh, next, let's see what this is. Looks like another full pair of jeans to me. Boot fit gap and it's in Chinese. So I can't see what size it is. It looks don't know they look fairly wearable to be honest um, but also lots of great material so I'll see whether again they're probably men's but I'm not sure see if they fit anybody in the house <laughs> and if they don't um, then uh, I was just adjusting the camera there sorry um, then I'll definitely be cutting them up let's see what this is Kids jeans, looks like. Kids jeans, five, they say. Now my son is four, he's tall, but, oh, but they have a hole in the knee. We already have lots of jeans with holes in the knee that I have got a box full of stuff to mend. So I probably, again, will cut those up and add to my haul of denim fabric for all sorts of stuff. Let's see what else. 
Uh, oh, it's another one of these. Oh, this one's got a zipper. So it's another one of these ones where she's sewing the bottom. Let's see. But not lined, just zipper pouch. But I mean, that's useful. I can just, I'll probably just use that as is for something, maybe even a sewing drawer or something. Cool, I'll set that one aside. Um, more kids' jeans with more holes in the knee. It's a common problem, <laughs> clearly. Um, yeah, again, I'll probably, I don't know, I could see, they look like they are a little long for my son, but I might have a think about whether I want to repair those and let him wear them before I, and then cut them up when they grow out of them, maybe. We'll see. What's this? Ah, now this is the top of a pair of jeans that the legs have been cut off. And again, she's shown, she's sewn the seam along the bottom. So it's like, almost like a bag, but there's no zipper and there's no, and I'm not sure about the, I've made a bag out of a skirt before, but it's longer, so it makes it big. This, I've thought about doing something like this with shorts and stuff before, but I was thinking it's just not quite the right shape for the kind of bags I would want. And because the, but maybe you could somehow pull the top up and do a zipper or something. So I have a think what I'm gonna do with that. It's a shame that she's already sewed it, not to just keep it like that, but I might cut it open, I don't know. We'll see. Is this another one like that? This looks like another one like that. Yeah, so this is again, the top of a pair of jeans, and she's sewn a seam in them. And uh, I'll have to decide what I could make with that. But it's nice, like there's nothing wrong with the denim. It's not super worn out or anything like that, so. Um, Definitely useful. So this is interesting. Uh, so this looks like, rather than blue jeans, it looks like a scrap of denim fabric, a long one, a few more, let's see. Oh, so like there's a hole, there's another long one. And then this is huge. Whoa. Oh, it's got the measurement on the back. 142 centimeters long, I guess. Don't know how wide, but anyway, it's a great big piece of fabric, so I can definitely, definitely use that. She was obviously having a huge craft room D stash or something like that. Um, let's see, another, <laughs> another little cuffed pouch with, um, again, no zip, no lining, but it's just been so again, I mean, that could be folded over, simple one little. I'm feeling like I might do a few of those like that with what she's got here. Um, oh, here's another one like that. She's decorated it with like embroidery and buttons. So that's an idea. It's not really my style, but maybe I could find a little, little girl who might like that. Um, it's cute. Uh, and another one with a butterfly. Again, she stitched it along and it's just open here. So maybe, I don't know, no one springs to mind right now. Maybe a, might be a friend's daughter or something that I could do, do something with these for, we'll see. Um, oh, here's another great big piece of fabric. This is like a thinner, thinner denim, like a, really thin um so you could almost make clothes out of that i feel like i'm not even sure if it's actually done in very thin anyway but um but it's loads of fabric look this is all this is still folded in two and there's there's tons of it so um my brain is going pajama trousers <laughs> pajama pants because it's on my list of i don't sew clothing um but i want to theoretically <laughs> um but the first one on my list i think is gonna be pajama trousers um it looks like it might be an easy beginner clothing project and this is kind of feels like it could be a cool weight for that we'll see anyway there's lots of it so i could do i can do lots with that now there's not much left in the box but let's see what it is I don't know what this project was, but let's see, I'll just take them all out. So that's the box, empty. 
and this is she's got all these little squares with like she's sewn on this kind of trimming different trimmings and I don't know maybe they were intended for little pouches or something this one's kind of bright so I could do who knows funky funky quilt box maybe or or I could make them into little coin pouches but really cool so let me try and angle so you can see this great big pile of stuff <laughs> let's see here so this is all of the stuff there we go this is all of that stuff seven pound fifty which is like let me think somewhere between 10 and 15 American I think um, so really good value in terms of anything really for me it's fabric but um, even in terms of jeans these two, the two adult size pairs of jeans are uh, not unwearable and um, and then there's plenty of this other kind of stuff to work with loads to play with so <laughs> my basic uh, my basic message is um, yeah have a look on on eBay if you're into crafting and you're short on budget or you just don't like buying new fabric and you want to upcycle more um, even if you don't have stuff your own stuff that you can um, that you can repurpose and reuse you can buy other people's stuff I do it all the time <laughs> I'll probably um, uh, I'll probably tell you a bit more about that. I'm kind of thinking of possibly writing a blog post about all the different places where you can um, buy upcycled, reclaimed, recycled fabric, whatever you want to call it. Um, and you would be amazed how much stuff you can get for how little money uh, and just kind of how cool it is. Because it's kind of really, it forces you to be a bit creative when you get a whole pile of stuff from somebody else or like this I've not I've never had a bundle like this with so many like unfinished projects and things so um so that's gonna be fun actually um to just go well what am I gonna do with that so anyway um I hope you enjoy the video uh if you did please subscribe hit the bell to be notified like the video and I hope to see you again soon bye